Hello everybody. It is uh, summer in Germany, so I can do the intro part of this video outside, which is very nice. Um, this video is about wave templates. And if you ever ask yourself, why do we actually need wave templates in SAP EWM or why we need different wave templates and what these wave templates can do for you. I think this is a pretty good lesson and uh, I think you will take something out of the next minutes. I will hand over to Inga now for the content part and get back to you afterwards with some closing uh, notes. Have fun. To explain the concept of WAVE template, we have to start with the warehouse request. Please refer to the post about WAVE and resource management to get a basic understanding of the terms warehouse request and warehouse request items. We, and also EWM, are only interested in the warehouse request items, so let us consider our bucket of warehouse request items for the following explanations. This bucket represents our total workload. Now we need to decide which parts of this total workload should be processed at what times respectively in which time windows. But how do we get here? Exactly at this point we make use of so-called wave templates. To understand the functionalities around wave templates and wave template determination in SAP EWM, we will use an analogy. Imagine a group of commuters having to come to the workplace in the morning via public transportation. Each of the individual commuters has his or her own requirements. Where do I have to be picked up? What time am I able to be at the bus station and what time do I need to be at my destination? What company am I working for? It might provide a dedicated bus for the employees. Which class do I want to travel in? On the other hand, imagine different bus lines being available for those commuters. These bus lines have different characteristics and offerings. They are running on different schedules with different frequencies, stopping at different stations, having different numbers of seats, driving with different speed, offering different service levels, and applying different kind of treatments in case one of the passengers does not have a ticket. Now we need to decide which of the commuters is going to take which bus line and, one step further, which run from all the different runs that are offered by each line. In SAP EWM, the bus line is our wave template and the run of the bus line is our wave template option. The specific bus which is executing the given run for this line will later be our wave. So as mentioned above, this is exactly what is happening here. In the first step, we check for each individual commuter where he or she has to be picked up, which class he or she wants to travel in, what his or her following connections are, etc. Based on this, we decide which bus line should be taken. So in EWM, we decide for each warehouse request item which wave template should be applicable. Technically, SAP EWM is making use of the condition technique for the determination of the wave template. Basically, all data from delivery header and item can be considered as part of the condition tables. Not everything is available as standard condition tables, but can be added via standard procedures of enhancing condition tables. So instead of checking the starting point and the travel preferences of our commuter, we do here check the source activity area, route, document type, delivery priority, warehouse process type, etc. of each warehouse request item. In the second step, we check the schedule of the given bus line and compare it with times our commuter has to be at his connection bus stop or workplace, plus we check the time when he or she is able to be at the departure bus stop. We do this to determine which run of the line is most appropriate for each individual commuter. In EWM, we check which wave template option is most suitable for our whereas request item. Technically, EWM is comparing the planned GI date in fact, it is comparing the planned date time for a departure from yard, but usually you map your planned GI date time from ERP to this date type, with the times from the wave template option. Each wave template has one or more different options in the same way as a bus line has buses running at different times. Above, we called this the runs of the bus line. So each wave running a specific option represents a bus operating one of the runs from the schedule. 
So this template option, respectively our bus, now decides at what time it starts. So basically the latest possible time when the commuter must be at the bus station. Some drivers are very friendly and do even allow to hop on while the bus is already driving. Some are more restrictive and will close their boarding even some minutes before they are actually leaving. In EWM, we call this a cutoff time, which can be overwritten by a specific indicator for spontaneous hop-on actions. It also decides at what times it will be at the different destinations. Note that based on the schedule, each bus has different stations with different arrival times. In SAP EWM, these different destinations are the pick, pack, stage, and load steps of the storage processes. And it decides how many passengers can be on the bus at a time. In SAP EWM, this is controlled with a capacity which can be set on level of the template option. Let us look at a simple example to make it easier to understand. The first bus of line 100 starts Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. at station 1. It can carry up to 80 passengers and arrives at station 2 at 7.30 a.m., station 3 at 8 a.m., and its final destination at 9.30 a.m. It offers only second-class service. The second bus line 100 starts Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. at station 1. It can carry up to 80 passengers and arrives at station 2 at 8.30 a.m., station 3 at 9 a.m., and its final destination at 10.30 a.m. It offers only second-class service as well. The first bus of line 200 starts Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. at station 1. It can carry up to 40 passengers and arrives at station 2 at 7.15 a.m., station 3 at 7.45 a.m., and its final destination at 8 a.m. It offers only first-class service. The second bus of line 200 starts Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. at station 1. It can carry up to 40 passengers and arrives at station 2 at 8.15 a.m., station 3 at 8.45 a.m., and its final destination at 9 a.m. It offers only second-class service. Now commuter Bob is looking for a bus. He likes to sleep longer, so he can be at the bus station earliest at 7.30 a.m. He has a second-class ticket, and he must be at the final destination at 9 a.m. So bus line 100 with the bus starting at 8 a.m. is going to be his choice. Now commuter Mandy is looking for a bus. She has a first-class ticket and can be at the bus station at any time. However, she must be at work at 8 a.m. So bus line 200 with the bus starting at 7 a.m. is going to be her choice. But what do we do now with the commuters who must be at work already at 7 a.m.? As there is no bus available on Tuesday morning which will cover this requirement, they will have to start on Monday already. This is also why we are sometimes picking our goods on day one although the truck picking up the goods is arriving only on day two. If your resources are not able to complete picking on day two before truck arrival, there is no option other than doing the picking on day one. So if, planned, if the planned completion for the warehouse request item is earlier than the wave completion time specified in the template options, EWM sets the wave completion date to that of the day before the planned completion date of the given warehouse request item. Anyway, back to our story. Let us assume the bus is full. All passengers who are waiting at the bus stop are boarded. Luckily, we had enough capacity. The bus is starting either manually, driver sitting at the driving seat starting the bus, or automatically, new driverless bus. Engine starts automatically at the planned departure time. This is the modern approach. In the same way, we can have a background job releasing our waves or one of the warehouse admins jumping in to release it manually from the EWM warehouse monitor. This is also defined based on the wave templates. And that's it. Of course, as usual, there are also some exception cases for which we do not want to go into detail here. Just one to give this post a worthy ending. From time to time, a ticket inspection takes place. Usually all passengers can show their valid tickets, but sometimes we see fare dodgers or passengers who only have a ticket for half the way. In case the inspector is in a good mood, the passenger can stay on the train or try to borrow some money from the other passengers, and the inspector will come back later again. But usually the passenger is being kicked out of the bus. In this case, the inspector is checking whether an alternative passenger with the same preferences is sitting somewhere along the way. The bus will pick him up and proceed with the trip. Romantic story, isn't it? Good luck in trying to find the EWM counterpart on your own.
Okay. Thank you, Inga. And um, yeah, I hope we find somebody who can solve the small challenge or secret that we included at the end of the video. Please put your thoughts as a comment down below and we'll think about a prize for the one who solves it. Um, if you're interested in more content, want to improve your knowledge, there's a lot of stuff on wmexperts.online. Um, we have a blog, we have some more videos. And um, I can also recommend for those who are interested in the wave template um, topic in general, there's another video where I will um, provide the link um, just below. And if you want to be notified about new videos that we publish in the future, just push the button to subscribe somewhere here and um, you'll always be up to date. That's it for this video. Thanks and uh, goodbye.